listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after show entertainment. Very good, Buzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menunos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Real Housewives of Atlanta After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256. 256-1729. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's After Buzz TV's Real Housewives of Atlanta After Show. Yes. Hey. T-H-I-R-S-T-Y. Hey. Thirsty. Thirsty. Obey your thirst, Thirsty. girls. <laughs> Yo, what up, After Buzzers? Bing is for doing, and we are here doing another After Buzz TV after show for The Real Housewives of Atlanta, Season 5, Episode 6. Hold on to your weaves, or it should have been called Hold on to your mans, because Miss <laughs> Kenya was prowling tonight. Kenya was thirsty. Ooh, she on. Girl, get her a spray. Right. I am DJ Jesse, joined in studio by the lovely gorgeous Stephanie Bauer, rocking a lovely fall top with some jewels around her neck. Amazing. It's awesome. And these oh. fierce boots. She's looking at me Catwoman tonight. You can say hi to everyone. <laughs> Stephanie. Hi. She said these were just laying in the closet. I just have things like this. I know. I forgot I'm like supposed to talk. I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> Compliments. <laughs> Next, we Hello. have Mikey Watts. What's up, man? What's up? Hi, Mikey. What's going on? Joining us in studio and joining us on the phone, as you can hear, all her ruckus over this, she just can't contain herself, <laughs> is the beautiful Courtney Stewart. Hi. Could you really hear that? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Courtney's My like bad. cooking dinner at home. Manning the cameras, we have <laughs> Steven, which someone actually told me to give you a shout out, Steven. Oh. Um, yeah, I'm over here, guys. How's it going? He's not hey, doing sir. his job right now. I'm just kidding. Um, I'm fixing what I forgot to do. Let's get into this episode. Started off with a bang, ended with a bang. Started off with Kim walking out. Oh, yeah. Which my thing is, is why was Corey already waiting outside? That's what I wrote down last week in my notes when I was trying to call in. Why? How was he already there? Like, he was out there waiting for Because her. she knew she was going to go out mm-hmm. like that, and she knew she wasn't going to stay for the whole lunch. It was she like knew what's up. Now, part of me wondered if Bravo knew what was up because... Why was Corey getting all in their faces? Like, it almost seemed like you guys knew you weren't supposed to do something, but you did it anyways. Like, that's the anger that I got from Corey. Well, it's the first time we got to see Kim with all of the ladies, so they she probably had some stipulations. Like, if I'm going to sit here, I don't want to be attacked. I don't want everybody ganging up on me. And that probably didn't ha- That obviously didn't happen. So she was angry about it. I don't think she had stipulations. I think she really just showed up, was pissed off, and was like, I'm over this. I think she called Croy, the power of editing and the power of, um, you know, we'll wait till Croy gets here until she walks out and blah, blah, blah. But I just couldn't believe the way they were acting. Like, don't forget, you're under contract, Croy. Like, who are you to be telling the cameras to get shut off and all this, like... I can understand when Kim's mad and he's mad and you just want the cameras out of your face like we see it on Real World and ne- never really Bad Girls Club, but at just one point you just want them out of your face. I can see that, but it's like, come on, you signed up for this show. Nothing even happened. They act like their kid died and the cameras won't leave like them alone about the it. Yeah, like Courtney, what did you think of uh, Kim's? I mean, I'm just know. hoping we're going to get some, like, behind-the-scenes shit to, like, show why Kim was that dramatic about what went down at that dinner table or lunch table because that was ridiculous. And Croy and his flip-flops talking about get out of her face. Like, that was just seemingly unnecessary. Nobody was chasing her out of the restaurant, yelling at her, causing her any trauma. It was ridiculous. Now, I was embarrassed. Do any of I you wanted guys, them to go away. Do any of you guys think that might have been staged? I mean, a I little mean, there's, bit. Oh, yeah. There, with with <laughs> any reality show, it just seems like it's yeah. some, of, some of it's staged. Um, the whole – I feel like she wouldn't do just a graceful exit. It has to be, let me bring in my buff, prince, charming, handsome husband – or not even handsome, but just my savior that's going <laughs> to come rescue – no, he is handsome. I didn't mean like that, but – 
let me come bring my big strong husband to come like save me from the show like she's not just gonna gracefully leave they have to act like they're gonna punch out the cameras and he has to act like he's gonna sue because he said that at the end he said expect the lawsuit like bitch you're under contract yeah and what is the lawsuit for exactly doing the show that you said you were doing because I didn't see anything happen it's not like one of the ladies like jumped on her pulled her wig and like snapped her back or something but it's it's like Croy do you want do you want the spin off show or not like you're not gonna sue anybody because you want exactly. to get that spin-off show. Well, and also, I mean, uh, you shouldn't be throwing that around when you need some money to <laughs> you're paying your rent. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, but we also got a little behind the scenes of Kim's wedding, wedding. that flashback that we didn't see yeah. on the tide of the party. The they actual didn't play that. So that not from what I, on from what I party. know, that that scene wasn't played. Is that correct, Courtney? From what I for heard for the wedding show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh no, we knew her mom got kicked out for trying to use the bathroom on the inside. No, I, I knew that, but did, did they show that scene? I recall them showing people gathering, like pushing her out the door, like headed towards the door. I don't know how much of the scene they showed, but we <laughs> definitely saw in that episode that her mom was escorted out of the wedding. So, Cordy, can I ask you, because uh, I didn't watch Tardy for the party. I'm sorry, I didn't. I, I didn't sorry. either. But I, I don't uh, like him that much. It was, it was for <laughs> using the bathroom that she was kicked out. Okay, let me put the caveat. This was a long time ago, and I was not that involved. But <laughs> my memory is is that her mom was refusing to use the porta potties outside and went into the bathroom with like two other people or something. And Kim was being all psycho about people being in her house. So I don't know. Maybe she wouldn't have had as much of a reaction as she did if her mom hadn't taken people with her. And in addition, her mom, I guess, kind of gave her some bad energy. And there was drama like leading into the wedding because right. the mom was like saying she was not going to come because right. she didn't like her dress and all this nonsense. So I, I don't know that necessarily the bathroom, if anything, it maybe was just a straw that broke the camel's back. But And there's other stuff that we also probably don't know about that was underlying. But, yeah, she definitely just, like, rolled up to the bathroom and was like, I'm not using the outside, I'm using <laughs> Got this. It. Well, like, <laughs> like Mama Joy said, mm-hmm. um, if you think, if Kim did that to her mother, how the hell do you think she's going to react to you guys? Her own mm-hmm. mother, that's how she acts. So, I mean, I, but my favorite thing, favorite thing, was right as Kim left, all the girls kind of took, uh, went around and said something about, like, you know, I gave this up, some money up, I get to go wait for Kim in the trip. Uh, and then Cynthia goes, well, you know, we all have kids. Well, except, except for you, Kenya. Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. She, I don't even, do you think she meant like that? Because I honestly don't. But then I remember Cynthia hates her, so maybe she did, but it was pretty funny. She totally meant that. Yeah, <laughs> she did mean that. Um, and Kenya's mo- reaction to that was, was like, priceless. Um, the thing about Kim leaving the show, because I guess, is this it for her? Is that um, it? Sh- I think this is officially You almost it. sound like you almost had a little English accent. For who leaving is the show, Kim? Is this it for her? Is this it? I think I believe it I is. I think this is officially <laughs> it for her. But I have to say, so Kim's whole reasoning is she's like, these girls aren't my friends. Right. They're not my friends. Like they're not my friends. But this isn't the BFF show. It's the Real Housewives of whatever franchise, and most of them aren't necessarily right. friends at the beginning. So she's using that as her reasoning that she's not friends with these girls. But that's not what the show's about. The show's about well, following a Real Housewife, and she's finally a housewife. But like you she know what? Be I will say with now. this though. Yes, the show isn't about being friends, but if you watch all the other ones, they all have some, except for Jersey, where Teresa is literally outcasted, but she chose to do that, and she's fine with that. With Kim, it's like she had these relationships with these relationships with these people, and she pushed them away. She did, yeah. So now it is at the point where, and she said, you know, I don't know any of these people anymore. That's fine, you don't. But it's you, that was your fault, your choice. So don't get mad at them for it. Yeah, you know. but I think that the people when this franchise first started, you tuned in to see how a rich housewife lives and acts. She is that now. It's like who cares if you don't get along uh, with the girls? Just be on the show, right? She was more fun know. when she was somebody. So uh, yeah. Sorry. yeah. <laughs> um, so th- then at the table, they kind of left the Kim subject. And they talked about uh, Kenya and Walter. <laughs> Candy says, oh, I know him. And Kenya's sitting in her head like, bitch, I know. And kind of just let it slide. She's and then ass. Kenya said, talking about marriage, Kenya says, <clears throat> well, you know, my career in Hollywood is doing so well. Oh, my God. Did you see Nene? Nene, Nene. Her eyes choked on her watch. She was like, mm. 
But I think that she had reason to, right? And, and right after says, well, y'all know I'm dropping my album next week and I'm going to be a lawyer. <laughs> what? Well, I mean, Nini's such a character, and I love when she was like, "Look, well, I should make a song called Excuses." Like I thought that was such yeah. a classic Nini moment. That was awesome. I would die if Nini did that, actually. Now here's my Me thing, because I watched. Uh, I know it's an older thing of uh, Nini on Wendy Williams, and she said this was gonna be her last season. She was gonna because she loves Bravo, and they've been so nice to her, and she's gonna give Bravo season five, and uh, she's gonna go in fearless. Obviously, she's moving out to L.A. Mm -hmm. Just a quote to put it out there. How would you guys feel if she... This would be the first time a housewife switched to another housewife. <gasps> if she switched to the Beverly it Hills. It would be amazing. It would wouldn't be it? amazing. Oh, but would it work? Oh, my gosh. It would not work. It wouldn't work because I feel like... It wouldn't... It can work, but I don't think it would work. I think if she was to do it, she would kind of be downplayed in the Beverly Hills show. She, we couldn't see her shine. We couldn't see her real personality. We couldn't see any of that. But I don't but know. It it's kind of the big leagues, though. Like, aside from Brandy Glanville, those are all, like, women with money and money, Beverly money, Hills money. status. Like, Very I don't true. think she can I think her and Miss Vanderpump. I mean, I know she's cool with Kyle. I know Nene and she's Kyle are cool. cool. Kyle, yeah. I'm sure she's cool she with everybody. Cool with yeah, she's, I, I bet I mean, she's she, cool with everybody. She's hung out with the f a few of the housewives. Oh, my God. Yeah. Her and Lisa. On her own time. Oh, I just think it would be... Oh, for the first time in Housewives, you know, history. That's a great idea. To move one housewife. And it would be natural because she is out here. She's doing the acting thing. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, Taylor doesn't have that much money and she's still on the show. I think it would be hysterical. That's such a good I idea. She would be making up for what she doesn't have in the money department with her mouth and it would be hilarious. Yeah. Right. You know, if that were to happen, I kind of feel we might lose a part of Nini because she's going to yeah. have to change herself to hang out with these women and I, I'm, I'm, okay when i say change i don't want everybody to attack me over the, the word change i don't think she would change but that. there's a certain way you're gonna have to act when you're not around all at, black folk and at, and the atlanta <laughs> lifestyle and the atlanta like all these girls it's just like chill and fun like beverly hills is snooty and stuck yes. up and you even saw she was a little different at the lunch with ryan murphy or yeah that's his name right mm -hmm. with, for the glee creator because he's a hollywood power player like she was even a little different we still saw the same funny nini but it's just different it's she's not in but she's growing into that and i think that w <sighs> it would be interesting to see that happen with uh, that franchise. I think, though, with the women, though, she'd still be like, ooh, child, yeah. look at your closet. Damn, I ain't never had nothing like this. I think she would change. <laughs> that, like, energy going on. She would change a lot of them, I I, I think. I think yeah, I could just like, see her and Lisa. Lisa would oh be my like, gosh. ooh, child. <laughs> that would be just the great. And them talking about their sex lives. Yeah, the Lisa's lack of sex life. and. I think it would be. I'm just throwing it out there, Bravo. Um, but be, shout out to everybody at home. I love, 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 love. I've, I don't know if you guys have gone and read the comments lately, but you guys have been going ham on YouTube, and we love it. But, again, we need you guys to get us to number one on iTunes. Super easy. Download, rate, subscribe. Just search <laughs> AfterBuzz TV, Real Housewives of Atlanta, and leave us a comment with your Twitter handle, and we will give you a shout out on the show. All right? Speaking of the comments, they're really going ham on those comments. They y'all be letting wow. us know who you like about <laughs> out of these women. Um, <laughs> who's the favorite? Not Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> Not Kenya for sure. And She's I like Black Pirate. I think he be putting like the timestamp when we're talking about stuff. He knows. He's stuff. he's very good. Shout yes. out to Black Pirate for that. And um, by the way, I don't hate women. I I read that comment. <laughs> <laughs> that was really awkward for me. <laughs> um. I liked, I liked, I like Portia and Cordell. This episode me really too. made me like I fully too. understand Portia and kind of keep really? it cool. Yeah, as a couple, live them together. What? She's she's just. I mean, they didn't really show her a lot, which yeah. I was kind of like. Can mm. I just? Say, it made me like Cordell more, but as far as Portia, I'm still in the same boat. But you didn't think the lunch with the dinner with her and Peter and Cynthia. I thought she was much tame, tamer than, you know, she wasn't like, hi guys, I'm so excited to be here. I'm really amped. Like, thank you. I want to be. I thought she was just really cool, calm, collected. She seemed like, okay, you know what? I can see her moving forward with the other housewives. Hmm. 
I'm not sure of like married husband and wife double date etiquette, but do you think she should have still shown up if her husband couldn't make it? Because it yes. did make it yeah. really awkward for I Cynthia and Peter, especially Peter. I don't you think, think that's it her putting forth effort to yeah. make friendships with these women that she doesn't for know. For sure. She said she didn't want to stand them up, but it did like kind of make Peter feel so awkward. Well, he, I mean, obviously, he's I a know. guy. He, want, he was ex- You know. saw how childish he got when he heard like Cordell, who's like, man, I'm I a big know. fan. I've been watching you since... <laughs> He's I too know. old to be acting like that. Oh, Peter. <laughs> Peter, Peter. Peter's Peter. growing on me. I forget if uh, Yay, if Courtney Peter likes him or it. But he is growing on me because at first you could tell he was genuinely pissed that he didn't show up for dinner because he wanted to hang out with them. But he, Peter, I like him. He can sit there and listen to the girls gossip. He can offer his little input. And I always like when a guy can do that. Like, just go with the flow. If you're stuck with dinner at two, with two girls, like. Part of me watching this made me feel like understanding Peter a little more but Mm -hmm. I wonder if the whole time he just felt kind of out of the loop like not really in I feel like he's getting it now yeah like just seeing him there was a scene where he like had his hand on Nini because someone was saying Kenya was saying something and he like grabbed Nini like it was almost like the bitch do you hear what this bitch is saying (laughs) kind of grab yeah Um, he's kind of getting it and just like even how he's joking around with Cynthia and then for our news and gossip when we um, yes, when you find out what Peter was and Bravo were planning, there's a, there's Peter's in the things. game tonight. Here's the other thing I liked about Peter that made me like him more. But it's skipping ahead a little bit when they were talking about the honeymoon, and she said their first honeymoon they brought their kid along. Yeah, I feel like most marriages would not survive that if the wife all of a sudden just said, "Yeah, I'm bringing my kid on our honeymoon," and he like went with like it seemed like he went with the flow. He's like, "We're making up for it now." Like he's growing on me. <coughs> Is that uncommon to bring? Your, your child on your honeymoon? If the wife wants it and the husband doesn't, yeah, that could cause a huge, mm-hmm. like, rift. Well, if the husband doesn't want but I feel like I've, I've seen many marriages where they've brought their, their kid with them. Yeah, I guess if it's, like, a second or third marriage, yeah, yeah but, uh, Peter was one some alone time, and yeah. she just brought the daughter. Oh, Peter, you have enough kids, brother. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Or at least get another yeah, bed in like a room. I know. You have enough kids, my man. Um, so they're at the airport, Todd surprises Candy, um, Kenya ignores Portia. Peter's going through it over Cordell, and then Kenya keeps talking about. I wonder if someone's gonna get proposed on this trip. Fake. I'm so confused. So like, wh- what? She's so fake. Gave her the the thinking that he's ever gonna propose to her. I, I loved what uh, again Miss Phaedra Parks told us. She says it's a good thing for a man to find a wife. Mm-hmm. It's not good for a woman to hunt a man down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Or multiple men down. <laughs> Mul- yeah, yeah. Um, Kenya, again, we saw this with the go-kart situation, you know, racing on the go-kart. I mean, maybe she does have a little wild side to her. But Kenya is driving the boat crazy. Um, it couldn't kind of be fun. Yeah, I guess. Did, you, guess. Take, did you guys take that as an icebreaker? At, yeah. first, at first? At first I was like, bitch, like, because I would be like, mm. I thought at least when we saw it in the clip that they were all out in their bikinis and it was just a day out on the beach. They were driving to their destination, like, trying to get there, and she's acting like that. But then when I thought about it, I was like, whatever, I guess it, it was fun. It was nice fun. It's Courtney. It was funny, I guess. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it broke the ice for P- uh, Cynthia and Peter, because Cynthia wasn't liking her, but that yeah. boat thing kind of, uh, which is crazy to me, but all right. Um... Then Nini and Cynthia, Peter and Greg go into an Escalade while everyone gets <gasps> on the bus. I now, don't even know where to start. <laughs> Courtney, say something. Yeah, I just Courtney, can't what did even... you get from that? What did I get from that? Like, or you just thought it was funny? <laughs> I just thought it was funny and kind of like, because at first I was like, okay, well maybe the bus don't have enough seats, but it had plenty of plenty. empty seats. So right. yeah, Nini's not that big, y'all. <laughs> stop pumping her butt. Let's stop pumping her butt. Huh? Oh wait. Who, Courtney, who was it that gave the gift to Nini? Was it Kenya or was it Cynthia at the airport? That gave the gift? I it thought w- Cynthia had all the bags in Cynthia had all the bags in her hand. Oh, it was a bag for everybody? And she, there was a bag for yeah. everybody. Oh okay. oh, okay. I didn't see that. I missed that, too. And who, what was inside the bag? We didn't get to see they that. They didn't show. Yeah, they didn't show. They were kind of jankily put together, in my mm. opinion. I well, will... Peter was up all night doing that. I... <laughs> cannot get over the SUV thing. It's like if you, the four of you want to ride separate that's fine, but to get this like nice Escalade and put everybody else in that 
crappy tour bus. That I was the Shanti it, bus. I can't believe they didn't act more upset about that, especially like Phaedra or somebody act more upset. Like, what was he thinking? They're acting like Peter, so it's a renewal of vows, right? That's why they're there. And, yeah. And Nini and Peter, Nini and Greg know about it. They're acting like they're the bridal party, and everyone else is like the little minions. Does Kenyon you know? know that this right now is for no. Peter and Greg? And I mean, I I'm sorry. <laughs> Peter and Cynthia. I think in prediction she thinks it's her wedding. <laughs> I swear. I, I swear to you, I think. She thinks it's her turn. Yeah. Well, uh, on the bus they start talking about some diamond place and uh, Walter says, them are blood diamonds. And she's that like, was hilarious. <laughs> she's she was like, like laughing. Well what, kind of, well, what kind of diamond would you like? I just need one. How many carrots? Like, you sound crazy. It's really awkward. I can't with her. Speaking of crazy, he right when they got in the hotel room, he's talking about her medicine. Is he being for real? Is she really on medicine? Ooh, I think so. I think antidepressants. She, he asked her like a couple times. <laughs> um, and then uh, her crazy ass says, "Candy and Phaedra, y'all know I'm getting the top floor. Ooh, no bits with your junior suite. You can go. <laughs> Good night." <laughs> 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 and I found it so. Uh, not tasteful to be mad at because you invited yourself first of all so yeah, yeah you're gonna get the leftover room so it's to throw an attitude and a hissy fit about something that you weren't even invited to is just yeah such high school to me at first i was kind of surprised that uh again peter would do that um like put them in a little room and they're in the huge room which it's their trip and then phaedra if you notice they didn't say it but her room was just a little bit smaller than cynthia's but a little bit bigger than kenya's but then i thought about it yeah she did invite herself like you're lucky you got a little room i want to see what porsche's room look like me too i bet you they got the <laughs> one identical to cynthia and peter's oh yeah because he's cordell cordell is it cornell or cordell 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 okay cordell. um cordell. so yeah she gets her little junior suite um, he about the medicine, and then we get this little. I love Phaedra and Apollo. I love them watching them on the bed together, and seeing just their chemistry with each other. It's just such the like the friendship of it. <laughs> Talking about the hot tub and her honey pie can't go in dirty <laughs> tubs. Keeping it clean. And yeah, Apollo was clean. worried about his pee hole, and they called the OBGY and like Doctor Lou, <laughs> Doctor Lou. And it's like he's like their best friend too. He's like, oh hey, what's up? <laughs> I think it's amazing. My doctor would be like, who is this? Right on the phone. Well, I mean, <laughs> let me ask you this. Receptionist, the nurse. Ladies, does your man n- even know the name of your... Well, she's had a baby, so they probably went to appointments and stuff okay. together. So yeah. I, I guess that's different. Okay, fine. Hmm. But I like them. They were cool. Interesting. And this is where, like, Nini and Greg, where we see them, like, back together, too. And I yeah. think everyone loves them, but it doesn't matter if everyone else likes you as a couple. If you're not happy as a couple, whatever. I started but thinking about I'm that. sorry. Explain his question, her question to him I when d- they were lounging. Was she drunk? That's my thing. I, 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 th- I thought... What I- are you holding back for? But it was kind of like... You, that was a totally different side of Nini I've and never it, seen. Exactly. She looked like a little girl, like a young. She like it brought like youth back to her for but something. For reason. the ladies, you guys didn't get that. I felt it was more uh, her telling Greg like, "Touch me, hold exactly. me, kiss and me." And for Greg kissing her feet the other episode and begging for her back, like he didn't <clears> take <throat> the bait at all. Like not at all. They're yeah, playing like, a real nasty old people's game. They are. It is. <laughs> You're so right. He was like, what you mean, my back? What you mean, my back hurt? <laughs> he was not giving in to that, though. Old no. people's game. And he just saw Cynthia's boobs, so maybe he's not ready to see all the new needs yet. Mm. Ooh. Um, well, speaking of other people, Kenya and uh, Apollo at the pool, <sighs> and this is after what Yo. happened last week. Now let the thir- this is when the the sprite can opens up and just we start sipping because Kenya this bitch pushes Apollo in the pool. Okay, she just mm. kind of walks by, one. like she just kind of no yeah. okay on that Jesse. No, no okay, no okay. Here's why I'm gonna say okay. It's playful. If it was Cynthia doing it, you know what I mean. But if it th- was Cynthia, yeah. Now, but also <laughs> even Kenya, but the way you do it. Now, if you watch it back. The way Kenya pushed Apollo in, girl, you were great. You were trying to cop a feel of the yeah. body. Like if it was just of a course. light full, of like course. push in the back, fine. That's funny. She like She's delayed crazy. it so he'd like pull her in, 
too. Mm. But then Apollo, you did mm -hmm. married okay. to Miss Parks. I know you did not get out thing. the pool, pick her up, and then grab her, her ass. Butt, yeah. And jump. Now, in with even her. if you threw her in the pool, that would be a little better. But then you jump in the in pool with her. her. It's like. Hell, I can't believe Pedro <laughs> was that quiet. I can't. I'm yeah. And I love how the next day or whenever it was, Peter and Greg were both like, uh, we'd be dead if we did that. And pa Paul sat real quiet. Like, yeah. Mm. Yeah, they kind of fucked that up a bit. But I think that also shows uh, Phaedra's confidence in her man. She's hey. not really scared. Oh, uh, no, she was if pissed. If there was confidence, she wouldn't have came out in that half-naked outfit the next day. Ding, That's ding, ding. Crap. She yeah, was she pissed was beyond pissed. That was the show outfit, but you know. You yeah. let your man know why you why he's with you every you once in a while. You don't need to let him know. He's supposed to already know. That's true. I mean, all them other chicks. because Please. no shade, Miss Phaedra. I love you to death, but that outfit was the DTM. Doing too much. Doing too much. <laughs> Way too much. Like, th that came off thirsty in the sense of, like, I'm going to show you what my man has. Like, mm. If she walked down like that as a joke for, like, the first five minutes and then changed out of it, even that would have been okay. She wore it the rest yeah. of the day. She couldn't even get up in the boat because it's so <laughs> tight at the bottom. Like, What did uh, totally Nene call Phaedra last season? Uh, Miss Phaedra Parks faux pas. Like, she's <laughs> kind of fake yeah. sometimes. You know what I mean? Aww, yeah. I love Phaedra. <laughs> um, then we got... This awkward um, talk between Kenya and Walter <coughs> on the beach. She, he like, okay, Mikey pointed it out. She's like grabbing onto him. He won't grab onto her. And right. then he gives mm -hmm. her the peck. This is like the peck I remember from like Girls Next Door with like Hugh Hefner and the girls. The girls didn't want to kiss him. So they'd be like, when they get home, they like have to kiss Hugh Hefner on the lips. So they'd be like, Mwah, like that. <laughs> That's what he did to her on the beach. And it's like a, Okay, I'll kiss you, but I'm gonna get it over with really fast just to get it done with. Right? right. Exactly. Totally. Yeah. Exactly just, that. You know, then he asks her, Do you really think you're ready for marriage? And she's like, I mean, I think so. That's not that's not what you're mm. supposed to be saying. If you know you're ready, it's like, yes, these are the reasons why I want to marry you. Like, I want to be with you. Well, to you're me. not saying that. You're touching up on all these men and you're just talking about marriage. Man, ooh, that's a tall glass of water. That's a tall glass of water. It's because she's acting. She is thirsty. She's a good actress. Talking about water. Faking. She's faking. Well, and then she sits and says, um, I want to make Walter jealous. I, You know, I want my man to be jealous sometimes so he keeps running back. Bitch, he's running the other way. Like Guys do not <laughs> like that ever. Like, ever, ever, ever. It just annoys them and pisses them off. Exactly. It, it is very annoying. Especially someone who, I mean, uh, I read about Walter uh, today. He's very, very successful. Um, he owns more than a trucking company? He has money. Well, okay, yes. I wanted to ask everybody then. Does anybody think Walter might be a tad bit gay? I don't think he's gay. I mean, Courtney, he, said, he Courtney, said he is not gay. He told V103 that's lies that Kenya is spreading mm. because she won't admit that it was all fake. Okay, he he said he's not, but does anybody see? No, I, I just think gay. he's old. He's <laughs> old. Like older guys come from a different generation. That it's just, I I don't think he's gay at all. He don't, don't act like my that. dad. I don't get that. And your dad <laughs> I mean, doesn't act like my dad. That's the truth. So I'm just putting it out there. My dad's older. It's just different generations. He just does not like I don't her. get gay from him. Do you get gay from him? I mean, I, w when Kenya said that, I guess I could kind of see it. During the episode, I was like, oh, yeah. But then when I think about it, he just doesn't like her. It's right. That's exactly what that. it comes he down to. He does not like her. It's em that's embarrassing. Especially, so like, <clears throat> uh, somebody from a different generation. Like, now... nowadays, Kenya's used to the spotlight. Nowadays, you know, Apollo probably likes the spotlight. But this guy is a har oh, hardworking man. He want, probably wants a woman who's, you know what I mean, down for him and not doing all this crazy... You know, he asks out candy. Like, he wants, like, a candy. Right. You know, someone that's he, not... A whore for the spotlight. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Well, you didn't find her here. Um, <laughs> so, Candy, then we get to Candy, and she's awesome. with Todd. I like her and Todd. Okay, I know everybody thinks Candy's boring, but just seeing she's she's the dynamics works. between Todd and Candy, I feel like they're Yay. brother and sister. They, they're... I okay. liked watching that. That, that yeah, didn't, that I didn't like, like watching it. It was cute, what? but I, it was not. That was I'm with Courtney. I was like Courtney snoring. You know what, Courtney? <laughs> I need you to get your life. And I need. <laughs> I understand they're on vacation, <laughs> but I did not like Candy's hair. Oh me. I loved her hair. Oh, the frizzy. 
island. See, Bitch, y'all she looked y'all like she so got mad. a shit to and put that on her. I'm but I'm the one that hates the women. Thank you. <laughs> I don't hate comment on that one. I don't hate her. I'm just commenting on her hair. I thought she looked gorgeous, mm. and I love the dynamic. Gorgeous? You're just yes. suck- gorgeous. You're just sucking up to the YouTubers. No, home. whatever. I'm not Candy sucking up to the YouTubers because you know I'll be a hater. Uh, with Candy, what Stephanie? Candy is my kind of vacation girl. If I was on vacation with all of those girls, I mean, Cynthia looks great in every outfit, and her hair looks great. But if I went on vacation with those girls, I would be so annoyed. The Candy shows up for vacation, like you know. Thank you. Bitch, you're not on vacation. You're getting paid Cynthia's for a job that you're doing. Yeah, Your job I, is yeah, the real house. I guess you're kind of right. Yeah, yeah, you're but on yo, TV. Yeah. Tell me and Cynthia Cynthia's, look good. Tell me Cynthia's outfits aren't contrived. Like, they're so planned out. Oh, of course. They're very planned Everything out, but I think that, that they're also, like, like she kind of seems effortless effortless when she shows up meanwhile kenya getting on the airplane in that tight little orange dress like please send those were something yes. very appropriate for what she's doing even down to her hair and to her jewelry and it's that's like why i asked you on. how long does it take how long is the plane ride to anguilla because like uh, yeah why I, would you want to wear that uncomfortable outfit she's on the trying plane? to get married <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. That's the way to do it. Question. Idiot. She's what, such an idiot. What plane serves grits? <laughs> Were they he could have had it to go. I don't know. Yeah, they had like... <laughs> right. <laughs> they had like eggs. Eggs and grits? Grits I mean, and I mean, I've been on planes in and out of Georgia all my life, and I ain't never had no grits well, on the plane. Well, if it's like breakfast time. Really? Yeah. Who serves grits anyways at breakfast? I, I Dude, mean, he could have got them in south. the terminal. I haven't had grits. Say who serves grits for breakfast? I haven't had grits in a long time. I'm I sorry. I had grits for breakfast yesterday. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm sorry. <laughs> No, I, had, I haven't had grits since I was like 12 years old. He could have got him in the terminal. That's because you were in California. You missing out. Right. <laughs> oh. mm. Your father ain't like Walter. That's Grit, why. Grits and collard greens are. That's what you get oh. in the South. Right? I love collard greens. Collard greens. Hold up now. What? <laughs> nah, you gotta love them. I'm from North Carolina. I can say that. <laughs> I'm from South Carolina. I used, oh, well, yeah, not man. from. Used to live in South that's Carolina. That's how we roll. Well, right. Columbus. Is that Glad right? everyone's tried grits before. Um, <laughs> All right, so then Phaedra, of course, has to Phaedra always Fox. do something. Now, wait, was it Phaedra on the last trip that got the gifts for everybody? Yeah, it was Phaedra. She yeah. planned the last trip. Yeah, right. It's like whoever. South Africa. Africa. So, of course, Phaedra, you know, always has to show out. So she finds the minister of tourism. She always has to do the very, like, cultural thing. And, and I, I thought she, they were going to – remember last year when she took – uh, who yes. did she take on the tour? The, the museum. History tour of the slaves. Here's what I'm wondering: Is it an act, or is she really interested in that kind of stuff? I think she really. I is. think she really is. Okay. Cool. I but I never knew there was a minister of tourism. That was the, you guys know such that a existed? grand name. I thought they were bringing out the minister for the wedding. Well, like, hang on. Does anybody know that existed no. as a job or a career? Phaedra likes to give people titles that I don't think. Yeah, he's probably like. <laughs> co-director of <laughs> <laughs> she's like no we'll call you a minister but I love those dancers though they no like wait but before 15. the dancers even came out did y'all notice Waldo where's Waldo <laughs> with the glasses no I'm not even talking about that what I'm talking about is when Faye just stands up and everyone's Waldo. sitting down and she's announcing she brings out her guest the minister Miss Kenya Running up there and standing up there like she it, it yeah. reminded oh, me yeah. of when <laughs> Cynthia <laughs> was judging and Cynthia was about to stand up and Kenya stands yes. up and gives a speech. And here's Kenya standing next to Phaedra like she was a part of. And the microphone at, at Nini's party. Didn't she take the mic and anna- yep. make an announcement? I think Kenya feels that's her duty as being Miss USA. Right? It's like her pageant thing to do, but. She, it, it, when you look at her doing it, it's like she doesn't even realize she's d- doing it. It's like so bizarre. It's she's like, like, it's like bridesmaids. I th- yeah. It's like, I have something. To I want to go back. I, don't, I mean, if they even have a recorded video of it and watch uh, her win Miss USA. Oh my God! If anybody if can, can go, send us a link yeah. to that. It's been a hot minute. Right. A hot minute. I mean, like Portia said, you can't even YouTube it or <laughs> Google it. It's not even <laughs> on the search engine. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there's a picture out there. I just want to hear her answer a question because watching her now just react, but maybe this is, you know, might have been before the medication or whatever. Blood diamond. What's going on? I just can't with her. <laughs> she does too much. A thirsty ah, thirsty ah. Um, so the girls start dancing and Nini starts <gasps> dancing, openly talking about, oh, you 
know, I used to, you know, I was the queen of the club. Instead of a crown, I got dollars, though. I <laughs> forgot. You know I, you know, I used to work a pole. I forgot. I <laughs> totally right, forgot she was a stripper. I did not forget that. <laughs> um, Can we just ask Courtney what she thinks about the dance? I just can't even. About uh, her dancing? No. Oh, I not, dancing not about her. Dancing. About Miss Kenya rubbing her ass on Peter's <laughs> chow chow. I was while getting to that. I was getting to that. <laughs> that okay. And Peter looked like now, he was I getting wasn't hard. Mad. I wouldn't have been mad if Kenya was in the back. Ex- I was gonna That's say what Cynthia we all okay said. With her being in the front. Cynthia, who hates Kenya, and if Cynthia was even in the back, it would have mm. been, or if Kenya was even in the back, it would have been okay. But <laughs> the biggest point of all is. She hates her. Like, how is she letting that happen? I think she was drunk. Yes. You know they had, like, a few cocktails for that. Yeah. She didn't realize what was really going on. I could not. When she watches that, she's going to be... Livid. Um, and then it's just like Walter's sitting back listening to her. She called literally like three guys in the room a tall glass of water. Yeah. Um, then danced up on Peter. Then Nini had to bring her over to Walter... Mm. And dance up on Walter, and Walter's just sitting there, and then Walter was like, "No, right. yeah," <laughs> and they're like, "Oh, he needs the pillow." We're I'll like, pass. "No, he doesn't." That was not a boner. That was a fake pants boner. Guys, jeans do that. Because he hates her. Right. If anything, his dick probably retracted <laughs> into this. <laughs> oh, Walter! He inhaled it. What a Wal- like, Walter! Walter is a character. Walter his little lo- rosy cheeks. Walter looked better this trip, like with his baseball hat and his cargo he's shorts. Cute. I was like, he okay. Hat on. Yeah. He's cute, but yeah. so is my dog is cute too. Um okay. Jeez. So Kenya again, again after the boner thing, Kenya flirts again with the um owner of the resort. Who's married? Talking about Filipinos and blacks make cute babies. And then asking him for his sperm, like who I does really that? And Nini Who like tried that? to <laughs> diffuse the situation be, by being like, "Are you married?" Like, so he would say yes, and she would stop. But that like made Kenya do it even more. I, I think can. he was making the do the guy uncomfortable. Yeah, it was obvious. He was he wasn't feeding into that. No, he wasn't at all. <sighs> and then this is when Phaedra starts to notice it. Phaedra was like, "It's." She's like, it's uncomfortable to watch Kenya flirt and act like this. And right when she says that, here comes Miss Kenya between Apollo and Phaedra, which I would have been like, oh, girl, take your hand off my man. She was loaded. Right now, asking her mm, for a birthday surprise, which two of your friends? Ugh. I'd be like, well, bitch, you ain't my friend, so not you. Did you see Miss Phaedra Park, Park's face, though? She was like, what? What are you talking yeah. about? I'm not following. She was confused. What and did she you kept think? It real classy. No, but did you see Apollo though? I know all y'all saw Apollo. He was like, "Well, what do you mean? Like, you yeah. mean getting some head or like, you know?" I no, don't know. I didn't take it like that. I took Apollo, I like, Apollo saying <laughs> it like, like asking her like, "Well, what what kind of gift are you talking about? Like a gift?" Whatever to, like, he knew. You no, know, I know he, he knew knows what, what he was I know he knew what he was talking about, about. But I didn't think he was feeding into Kenya. I, I didn't like get that. I didn't get that at all. I think at first, it jokingly, he said. You know, uh, what kind of gift are you talking about? Like, in the sense of, like, oh, two of your friends putting something together. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. To take it away from the sex. And then she was like, you know, like, a romantic one. I'm sorry. Your wife is standing right next to you. Right. The only thing that should be coming out of your mouth is, ooh, Kenya, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm about to go over here and move. Right. Yeah, I think that he was asking those questions because he was trying to delay it a little to see right. how Phaedra was going to right, react right. first because he could have been like oh she might be in the joking mood and want to say it Bitch. so he was like trying to feel her out but I do I'm not think that I think Apollo knows Phaedra very well and knows that he was not feeling nothing like Phaedra would ever answer that question what, Phaedra remember might Phaedra be, Phaedra's this... obviously a little bit of a freak so exactly. he might have thought there might right. have been a little something she is a freak remember Phaedra with it... the party last year like she's a freak yeah, yeah she, she... I'm not saying she ain't a freak I feel like but she you know what I, I don't like see her in a freaky lesbian type situation. Bottom line, though, it's inappropriate to ask somebody's Thank wife you. or husband. That's, Especially that's at the, what it comes yeah, down like to. their age. Like one of us said it while we were watching. We're like, <clears throat> they are acting like they're too old to act that way. Yeah, the stripping, like the teaching, the lap dance. I don't know. Maybe y'all are okay. The lap dance, I could <clears throat> see that. I mean, we. Th- it's funny that this episode happened, and on the last Beverly Housewives, all the girls got drunk and. We're like doing f- backward flips, and uh, so it's funny that they are all doing this at the same time, acting like little kids. Yeah. But I mean, at the end of the day, we're human, and 
You know what I mean? We're having fun. Yeah, and I guess they're but all couples, yeah. just whatever. That conversation, inappropriate. You chasing other... What what did Nini say? Keep your legs closed Hold to your legs married. to married men. <laughs> right. Uh, and you can follow the advice right out the door, Kenya. Yeah, Kenya did not fit in there. Like, none of those girls were trying to play that game. Like, where did she even come up with that? Well, I was telling uh, Stephanie earlier, I feel like Kenya's probably embarrassed because she is successful. Um, and she doesn't have a man to back her up, and and it's kind of embarrassing not to have somebody want you. Is Kenya successful? Can she? Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I yeah, kind of she think she's she successful. Courtney, she's successful. I just don't you have a computer. How she can't find I a mean, man? Yeah, but can someone I mean, she's give me? Worked I want. And she's made movies straight to DVD or not? She's made money in the business. And wait, she's can we see what her net? Her Steven, can you see what her net worth is? Let's just type Kenya Moore net worth. I just really genuinely don't understand why she can't get a man. She's, she's crazy. crazy. Is she that crazy? <laughs> she's crazy. Yes. There's different kinds cray, of crazy. Cray. Kenya Moore's net worth is $1.5 million. All right. It's really? There wow. That's tied with Nini probably. Yeah, it's official. I said it in my radio voice. I feel mm -hmm. like okay. she would throw that around more often. I mean. Uh, I guess it's not. I mean. A million dollars ain't very yeah, much. Okay. Right. It really is not much. That's yeah, crazy for Hills us to say style, that, but yeah. I know I'm sure the way Kenya likes to live, a million dollars ain't that much. But it's a recession, yeah. baby. It's right. a recession. I don't know about all that, but. Uh, so, what, any last comments about the episode that you guys were thinking? I actually thought there was going to be more excitement than there was, but well, yeah, I guess but that's coming next. Yeah, that's they're the leading next into it. Because Phaedra, like, cussed at the end she was like i am not she's like this is some bullshit and she said it in front of oh, kenya she wasn't having it. out loud so we're gonna see next week like where it goes she oh, is not so having exciting. it we do have some news though after buzz TV. it's an after buzz exclusive yes ladies and gentlemen it is not an exclusive <laughs> you don't think so i think so after kind buzz of tv exclusive <laughs> there it is. sure oh uh, well i guess this morning on Atlanta's Frank and Wanda's morning show, which I've never heard, but oh, Courtney loves Courtney them. Loves They're them. awesome. What are you talking about? They've been around forever. All right, Wanda and Frank. Uh, I guess Walter Jackson, he exposed his business arrangement to Kenya. Uh, Kenya actually asked him to play the romantic role on the show. So what he exposed was that. The whole thing is fake. It's not real. Ooh. So, Corinne Williams, L.A. casting, like you've been saying. L.A. casting. <laughs> uh, Walter goes on to say that no one in Atlanta has ever seen him out with Kenya, ever. And he insinuates that he and Kenya never even had sex, which is... He said they dated, though, right, for a few months? He said they met each other three years ago, and they dated for three months. But he said they never had sex, though. I don't know if I believe. Uh, I and he said he was thing. caught off guard that Kenya was telling producers that uh, they were headed in the direction of marriage because that was nothing. It, that wasn't real. It was so obvious. I mean, the past couple episodes when we've been talking about it, even I said when she speaks, he looks at her like, who are you talking to and who right. are you? You could tell they have not been together on and off exactly. for two years. Well, producers um, used Peter to con uh, Walter into proposing and they would pay for everything uh they would pay five hundred thousand dollars for the wedding to propose to, yeah it's really? gotten what? that far so they but they asked peter to do it because apparently i'm assuming bravo gave peter and cynthia some money for the vacation for, or for the wedding either the vacation or the they probably set up this whole you know uh ceremony situation so walter doesn't propose right he turned yeah that down. so walter turned it down he said he was leaving. The only reason he did the show was because he asked a couple of his friends before, and uh, their friends were like, I mean, it's 15 minutes of fame. Why don't you just go enjoy it? It'll be bit good for your business in Atlanta. So he did it, but then all that money and proposal things started coming. He was like, nope. He After backed he up. was already wow. started so, on the show? Yep, and we're going to see uh, his final days soon. Oh, because Ooh. this is when all oh. this is happening, and he said, no, right. I'm, I'm out of here. We'll get to see the relationship dissolve. Um, Walter's lately has been in the news also for being seen with a younger woman uh, on numerous occasions in Atlanta. Ooh, shade, Miss yes. Kenya. Uh, basketball like games. And, right. Yeah, this is going to happen with Walter. He's going to get married in like two months, and Kenya's going to be like, what? Good. I hope he does. He will. I'll He'll find a nice, sweet girl. Yep. 
who can cook and do all that. Um, Make you some grit. Not right. use that microwave because Kenya nev- knows how to use a microwave. And no, never- she didn't. Didn't she use Trader Joe's? She ordered some. She you marked it up in the microwave. microwave. <laughs> 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 all right. On that note, let's head into predictions. Predictions. Um, next week looks really good. The girls go to a spa, and then Kenya and Nini are going to get into a fight. Because at the spa, mm. they're fine. It's not so I Kenya and Nini. What? I thought Nini was holding Nini Kenya was holding back. her back. Her back. I bet you it's Portia. It's Portia. It well, I don't know, Portia. because Kenya, the way it looked to me was Kenya had her finger pointing at Nini. Because she didn't want to be looking. And called her, I can't remember what she called her. It wasn't Nini. Nini yeah. was standing in between the two. So yeah. Nini just happens to be cut in crossfire. Yeah, it's like the Marlo situation last year with Marlo yeah. and Sheree. Right. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Like uh, I think that Kenya is so jealous of Portia because Portia is everything she wants to be. She's got a football husband. She's young. She's pretty. She's still got her eggs and capable of reproducing. Exactly. Boop. Five kids but oh. you know, and four Ni- pregnancies. Nini also calls out, again, we bring it up, Walter and Kenya, but he called, Nini calls her out. She was like, I feel like your relationship isn't real. And then, mm-hmm. you know, Kenya's Ooh, like, oh, yeah. I don't give a F what anybody thinks. But like, I'm sorry, you know. I think it's going to be between her and Nini. I think Portia will get involved with it. However, the reason why I think so is uh, in the Wendy Williams interview with Nini, when she brings up Miss Kenya... Nini has nothing to say. She talks about her like she's irrelevant. Yeah. Uh, wants nothing to do with her. But brings up Portia and talks about how she likes Portia. Yeah. Has nothing against her. So I think we are going to get something between Kenya and Nini. And then, of course, the Possibly. Phaedra stuff. Oh, I can't wait over. to see that. Yes, I can't wait I to see that. I want to see Apollo make it up to Phaedra. Uh, shout out to uh, uh, Todd. Todd, I want a F, is it F me sideways. Oh. I want to try that. <laughs> <laughs> it looks I gross. F, F it me sideways. Look gross. Well, I want to give a shout out to everybody at home. Make sure you guys follow us on Facebook at Face uh, AfterBuzz TV, Twitter, Instagram. Make sure you guys get us a number one on iTunes. Subscribe, rate, download, leave us your Twitter handle. Yes, yes, and yes. shout out to Corinne who couldn't be here tonight. Miss, miss you. you. Uh, thank you, Courtney. I'm DJ Jesse. You can follow me at DJ Jesse J. Steph Bauer TV. Mikey 3000 Watts. George <laughs> <laughs> Until next week, same time, same place. Peace. Thanks. From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the <laughs> entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. <laughs> Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.